Hey guys, so um, in this particular training, we'll be looking at how to use the QGIS profile tool to create a cross-sectional profile. So um, now we're in the QGIS interface. So the very first thing we need to do is to install the plugin. So to do that, we go to the plugin tab, then go to manage and install plugins. Then in the search bar, you can type profile tool. So here you go, you can click on it and install plugin. So after the plugin that have been installed, and you can click on close. So here so you use the plugin profile tool. So you can go to plugin, then under plugin you can see we have here the profile tool. So now you can click on the terrain profile. So you can see that at the bottom of the map canvas we have the profile tool window so now at the background on the map canvas we have a digital elevation model and this particular area is nigeria so this is the digital elevation model of nigeria so now to use the profile tool we can um, select the point, the starting and ending points that we like to um, create a cross-sectional profile for. So to do that, we need to first add the layer that we're interested in. It. So as it is, we have the DEM um, data. So on the QGIS layer panel, you click on that layer, then you come to your profile super and click on add layer. So here you go. So this is the um, layer of interest. So now to Create your um, cross sectional profile. You can see a graph at the uh, left hand side of the um, profile tool uh, box. So, here you have a plus sign. If you look closely at the screen, you have a plus sign on the screen. So, the plus sign can be used to delineate both the starting and ending points of the area of interest that you want to create a profile for. So, let's assume uh, I zoomed in a, a little bit and I would like to create a profile for. This particular point so you can left click then drag to your desired end point so i'm going to stop it so to stop you can use the double click so double click so here you can see in the graph you have the profile of this particular uh, line so if you notice when i use the mouse so over um on the um, graph created already on the map canvas you can see something like a um, red dot going the same direction as you have on the graph so this is actually denoting the special location of this particular elevation so again on the graph you can um, use your scroll to zoom out and zoom in while you can use your left um, mouse left click to move the graph from right to left so in this case, let's assume we want to inspect this particular um, height. So on the graph, this is looking like an height that is around 515 or 510 meters. 510 meters. So on the map, you can see where you have that height. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. So let's try uh, another area of interest. So you can see, I think there is an hill around here. So let's try and create a profile. So I'm going to um, denote the starting and ending point. Start, end. So you can see. So if I over my mouse, then on the map you can see that uh, this place look like the peak of a part that particular uh, mountain, as shown on the map. So now after having your graph and you satisfy with what you have, you can export your graph, your profile um, section specify section so you can come down here where you have your graph png so you, you have other formats that you can um, specify so if you click on this down arrow you have the free the line the except to the pro and the excel which you can open using autocad so for this training let's just use the graph and in uh, png formats then you can use your savers so here you can eliminate the folder and the name you wish to use to save your um, profiles so let's just leave it as profile 
enter so if i go to that particular um folder so this is it here profile so i can open this so you you can see that's your perception profile again another thing we can do is to um so by default using these parameters we are seeing the height values for different location so you can come here and select slope if you're interested in getting the slope in percentage and also you can also get the slope in degrees so you can see okay now another thing we can do using the profile tool is to let me change this to height so you can come to table so here you have the um, x values and the elevation data for the graph so you can copy this to clipboard and bring in in an uh, a spreadsheet to uh, create a graph for the profile so let's try that or you can copy it with coordinates so let me, let's copy to clipboard so here i have excel open so i can uh, come to here and paste so you can see so from this data we can create a graph so this stands for the um, x value where this stands for the elevation the height so i can come to insert and create a graph out of this so you can see here yeah, looking at this we can confirm that it's uh, actually aligned with what we have um, here on the graph in qgi so you can see so um that is one thing you can do with the profile too so uh again you can come here to play with the maximum height you want to go and the minimum height to uh, manipulate your um, view so yeah when you have temporary polyline you can also use the selected polyline and selected layer so in selected polyline in this case you can come to your KGI's layer panel and select a polyline that you have already as a vector layer so I have this here so let me zoom into that layer so this is it here so we can also create a cross-section profile out of this line. So what I need to do is to select that polyline, come to QGIS vector layer and select it. Then I can come to the map canvas, select that line. So you can see it has been highlighted in yellow color. And there you go, this is the graph for it. Okay, so that's how you selected polyline. Now for selected layer, so same way you can go to your QGIS layer, click on that layer, and by uh, default, or automatically, is going to uh, select or highlight that layer on QGIS and create a graph for it. So that is the difference between selected polyline and selected layer. So when you click on selected layer, you just have to come to QGIS um, layer panel, select the layer, and it's going to create a graph for that layer for selected polyline you have to select your layer and also go to the map canvas and select that um, polyline for the graph to be created so um guys that's how you um, use the profile tool um kgs and i believe you enjoy um the video thank you so thank you guys for staying to the end of this video. I hope like you learn one of the things from the lesson. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel, put on the notification button, and watch out for more educative videos. See you guys next time.